Hmm. Some pretty shocking news. OB1 plays. Yes, right. What's up? All right. OB1 plays. everybody how are y'all doing before we get started you already know the vibes give the video a thumbs up big like if you've been enjoying the content thanks for clicking on the video and we are having a playstation 5 console giveaway in october that's right ps5 console you gotta one subscribe to my channel two follow me on twitter and we lit all right this youtube channel right here all right we have a couple of dope 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 gaming news items the first one pretty shocking stuff it's shocking but when you really think about it not that shocking it's being uh, reported this is coming from gamingbolt.com in an interview with gaming bolt the parasite ceo bart so capro and a game developer gave interesting insights of the PlayStation 5 versus the Xbox Series X GPU. And he is saying that the Xbox Series X and PS5 GPU differences are not that significant. Okay, According to this developer, they are pretty much the same consoles when it comes to GPU power here's what he has to say and compare this to a uh, last generation between the ps4 and the xbox one check this out i think the difference between ps5 and xbox series x is not that significant i'm pretty sure that every game developer is happy that we have no recurrence of the situation from last generation where we had a significant difference between the PS4 and Xbox One, which in particular took its toll in recent years. We need to remember that we are, if we're publishing the game on different platforms, we also need to consider the weakest hardware. And so, he's saying last generation, especially when we came to the end of last generation, when the PS4 was running games like Last of Us 2, go to tsushima the games looked crazy and you saw it at the beginning of the last generation at launch i had an xbox one and a ps4 every generation i buy every console at launch this is the first generation where i didn't i don't feel the urgency i still don't feel the urgency to get an xbox at launch ps5 is just killing it for me doing everything that i wanted and so we're good but and last generation, there was a gap. A lot of games on Xbox One were 900p max. Um, on the PS4, 1080p, uh, 60 frames per second. This generation, the multi-plats, because we can't even compare exclusives, because the Xbox don't really have any exclusives. But the multi-plats, some have run better on the PS5. Some have run better on the Xbox Series X. Most of them are pretty much identical. There's really no difference between the consoles this generation except for exclusives and this is where in my opinion right now right now sony is pumping out the best exclusive just think about this last year alone last of us 2 ghost of tsushima spider-man miles morales demon souls remake i will be on uh, demon souls um um on my gaming channel demon souls remake um, um, Ratchet and Clank, Game of the Year contender, Returnal, Game of the Year return, um, contender, Returnal is still my Game of the Year, um, Kena Bridge of Spirits next month is an indie game that looks real good, <laughs> and so, uh, Sony just been cleaning it with exclusive, but I found this interesting, that game developers are saying, there's really no difference in GPU power because people are saying and Xbox's whole thing is the world's most powerful console. When in reality, it hasn't been showing because the games 
look the same, run the same on both systems. I'm just keeping it a buck. Yeah, I'm, I'm PlayStation is saying it's the fastest console, but at the end of the day, it only loads like maybe one second quicker than on Xbox. So they're the same even with speed. And so they're pretty much the same consoles. Um, um, uh, the, the biggest the differentiator will be games, games, games. And that's where Sony is killing it. All right, bro, speaking of PlayStation, I told y'all in my last video, PS5 restocks should be going down in about one hour, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, probably at GameStop today. I'm still trying to get me a PS5 digital console. That's what I'm going to be keeping. I'm going to be giving away my $500 PS5 um, disc console to a lucky subscriber. So re, um, if you're still trying to get a PS5, go to GameStop today, not in person, online at 11 a.m. According to, I forget the dude's name, Matt something. I mentioned him in my last video, reliable source on tracking um, PS5 restocks. I just realized he follows him on Twitter. <coughs> I, I followed him this morning. Bro, next news item pretty dope 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 stuff assassin's creed valhalla siege of paris dlc will be releasing on august 12th and title update 1.3 patch notes have been revealed so if you've enjoyed assassin's creed valhalla one of the games i just couldn't get at launch man just because so many um on ps5 games i was trying to play and beat and so, but Assassin's Creed Valhalla has new DLC coming on August 12th. So if you have the game, um, you want to keep playing it, there you go. Next news item. Pretty surprising and pretty dope stuff for Hideo Kojima. All right. Death Stranding, I may get the um, director's cut. I didn't play the original game on the PS4, so the game didn't intrigue me. If there's nothing else that I'm playing, I will pick up this game. But, um, it's being reported that Death Stranding has sold over 5 million copies, which is a good amount for, especially for a new IP. This is an all new IP. There's no Death Stranding, excuse me, Death Stranding 2 or 3. And so, for a new IP to sell, over 5 million copies. Good stuff to Hideo Kojima. Let's see what he has next up his sleeve. Next news item. Speaking of game sales. This is a game I haven't played in a minute. But bro, I'm nice in Mortal Kombat, bro. Mortal Kombat 11. Warner Brothers has just announced today that the game has sold over 12 million copies worldwide. Growing up as a kid... There were two fighting games, Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat. They were the main two. I'm still a big fan of both. I um, love Mortal Kombat 11. I think the game is 4K60 on the PS5, Xbox Series X, next-gen consoles. I think it's actually 120 frames. I don't remember. But good to see that the franchise is still strong and well. Over 12 million copies for a fighting game. It's pretty, pretty good stuff. So here's to the next Mortal Kombat game. And as I said in my last video, <laughs> Nether Realms are, um, is being reported to be working on a Marvel fighting game. The same developers of Mortal Kombat and DC um, and Justice Gods Among Us, which is going to be amazing, bro. Marvel. All right. And last but definitely not least. Uh, um, yes, that's it. This is the last news item. Um, Apex Legends. A new character has been revealed today. Seer. Seer, uh, um, comes to Apex Legends as well as the Apex Legends Season 10 Emergence trailer. All new trailer has been revealed and the um, new season starts August 3rd. August 3rd, according to UPI.com. Apex Legends is always a game I wanted to get into, but part of me, part of me is the battle royales be taking too long, bro. I just want to bah, 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 get into action, so I've been playing COD more. more. All right, so um, Apex Legends. All right, those are all the news items, bro. What do you guys think about everything we talked about? Seeing my doors unlocked if my kids try to run them. Sound off in the comment section below.
I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. We out. Peace.